Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming out this evening. This is really, really wonderful. This is obviously a very, very special occasion uh, for me and for 20 years of young people singing and enjoying themselves, hopefully, and I'm not shouting, um, through, at, at, at the choir. Um, how Cantate started was uh, 20 years ago, I had, um, I was quite happy in a member of a choir singing and one of the wonderful choir bills. And um, I, my son, who was then 11, um, was, had a really gorgeous voice, beautiful soprano, boy soprano voice, and I was looking for a choir for him. And at the time, there were a lot of choirs in Limerick now, but 20 years ago there weren't. It actually wasn't easy to find, you know, outside of maybe a school choir and church choirs, there weren't youth choirs as such. So um, I went around kind of trying different places and thinking of going far away field, and then I thought, hang on. Um, so I went down to Mungut School, they were Mungut School at the time, and the uh, principal there at the time was Stephen Cahill. And he was very supportive and said that, yeah, he'd stay to, to some of the children around and see if anybody would be interested in enjoying and that we could maybe enter the, um, the uh, community games, you know, the, the community games festival as a choral side to that as well. So that's what we did. Um, I think I had a few children from St. Paul's and St. Mungert, and I think there might have been one or two from Roxburgh School as well. I had nine. So I started with a total of nine, but we went ahead and we entered the competition and everything and we enjoyed it. Um, uh, but very rapidly, interest grew in the choir, and we've been rehearsing from 2 to 3.30, 3.15 in St. Paul's for the last 20 years. And it is the dedication really on the parents' behalf as well. I mean, I've seen this all the time. I'd only be standing there with nobody if there was, if the parents weren't toing and flowing. And there's just been, I've competed with hockey, I've competed with a lot of basketball. <laughs> um, I've competed with, with horse riding. I competed a lot with rowing and various matches, different things on and off over the years, but people still come along. Spotlight, yeah, that was, we had to really kind of come to terms with that because I know from Margaret and Judy would be very friendly, so kind of, what time are you doing that, you know? So, um, so that's really it, that's how it started, that's how I started my collection of choirs. Um, it, it didn't, I didn't mean for it to go on but the way it did, I presumed this is lovely, I was quite happy doing this and then it just went on, I was asked to start the, um, the Canton and the Youth Choir show there and everything, but all the time Kentish has been there and over the years then has been feeding into the Youth Choir particularly as well and um, the, I just felt it was such an occasion, an opportunity to showcase the amazing, amazing talent that has come through this choir. Um, I count myself so lucky, and I know people often say to them, you're so lucky to be in a choir, but I am absolutely blessed to have the talent that I've had over the last 20 years come through the choir. It's been really, really wonderful, and hopefully you'll get a flavour of that tonight. They're not all here, but I mean 20 years of, and the average age is 9 to 16, so if you think of that, a lot of them will stay for the full seven years. So that's actually quite a, an amount of, of choral training, we say, over that time. Um, when, when they come in, they can be quite unsure of what it's about. Um, Behaviour might not always be exactly what I was looking for, but that's okay. Um, because I would expect that, you know, if you say, if you ask your child if they want to join a choir, what's that? It's where you sing. Oh yeah, you go along and sing. But it obviously, as time goes on, then they learn a little bit more about the discipline of it. And so I think it's good for them from that point of view. Usually when they come in first, they might sing just in the soprano line, the, the, the melody line, and then as they're there a while, they can get used to it, they can join in harmonies and different things like that. So it's learning the rhythms, but it's also learning to self-discipline, you know, get up and perform like they're doing this. I'm very proud about that one, so I better not talk to a bunch longer and get back and get on the next song. So, and the accomplished for the evening is Owen Scanlon, who was that 11 year old boy. <laughs> Thank you. 
incredible. Um, so now more talent. We had the honour of being asked to perform in uh, with the Irish Chamber Orchestra in the Jubilee Festival this year in, in May as part of uh, the, the festival there, and for the opera Wunderbar by Hans Kras. So we had the, the, all of Cantet took part, and they all had to audition. And there were other, it wasn't just Cantet, few people auditioned from outside as well, from around the Kilo area and everything. But um, we have here uh, tonight uh, two of the, the leads, the two main leads. So uh, the first lady, Orna Collins, Orna appears the part of Anne in Coo. Um, it was about the Holocaust. It was actually a very moving experience to be part of it. The whole thing was really a wonderful experience for them. They've been blessed over the years to be um, to partake in so many different things. I think we have done something like three or four word premieres for, for composers. So it's you know they're, they're, it's been really really great, a very special journey. So tonight we have Orna Collins.
of planted past, present, and hopefully future here tonight. So these are the recently passed, but um, not quite ready to move on yet. They've left Cantlet as such, but we have a few here that are still in Cantlet. Um, so this is evening prayer.
jazz pianist called uh, Hiromi Uehara. I hope no one speaks Japanese because that was definitely mispronounced. Um, so we had decided to play that and then um, I had uh, been given a medley of, um, I don't know if anyone knows the films of Studio Ghibli, so uh, Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke, Darren. Um, <laughs> these are very popular films that kind of uh, spread throughout the world, not only in Japan. Um, so yeah, we kind of have an unintentional Japanese theme. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it's a theme. It's we. I think the medley that we're playing has four four themes from it. So, so. Spirited Away, uh, Lapida Castle in the Sky, Princess Mononoke, and the Hell's Moving Castle, which is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, enjoy. <laughs>
lot of friendships have blossomed and flourished over the years in plantation. That's one of them. So Owen and Ella, lovely to see it. Um, so next we have, we're going to talk about the opera Gundabar earlier on, and we had um, Orla Collins singing. So now we have the other half of the leads in from that opera. We played the part of Pepecek, and this is Luke Nicholas. <laughs>
watch him. So um, from, uh, Emma is actually studying in Paris at the moment, but from Paris she managed to coordinate a nice string group for tonight. So, so Emma and her string group. <laughs> I have to thank Una Kyo who um, obliged you when I, like Maura is giving me all the credit for putting this together, but at, at the very last minute I said, Una, do you have any arrangements for um, a group? <laughs> this group? And uh, she very kindly obliged me and sent on these, so thank you. <laughs> um, and we're going to play the two of them now that she sent. And it, the first piece is uh, Rondo from The Fairy Queen by herself, and the second is uh, an arrangement of the fourth movement of the Trout Quintet by Schubert.
um, and the, the stream group goes off. Um, I'm now going to bring on the old contents. So hopefully this has obviously been like literally something to struggle tonight. So it's been really a case of kind of pulling things together at the last minute, but it has been beyond amazing to see so many places coming back. It's been really, really wonderful. So we've thrown two songs together. Hopefully they'll work because obviously we haven't been able to are away, they're in college, they're in London, they're everywhere. So um, it's not been easy to kind of actually get rehearsal. But anyway, we do our best. So we're going to the first we're going to sing is Billy Joel's and so it goes.
now want to do something bizarre. So um, I'm going to keep some of these up here and just to um, talk with regards to my collection of choirs, Shoda is also very dear to my heart. I have a lot of cantate nannies in Shoda. So if they'd like to come up now and join us for Seal Lullaby.
St. Paul's School, where we rehearse all the time, every week for the last 20 years. Um, Jerry Keenan from the ICO who supplied the stage, thank you very much. And many, many parents, it's, it's you know, it's hard to know where to start with something like this, it's something that's been going on so long, um, but it obviously would not have happened without without the parents. Una Kyo, Ekna um, Egan and Olive Downs. I mean, I don't know where I would be without all of Johns. I'd probably be kind of just climbing the walls thinking, I can't do this. So just three parents that have been exceptionally helpful for all the years. Uh, the two people who have really, really helped me in this when I kind of, there were times when I get a better I was cracking up, Emma and Owen. So. <laughs> said that myself and Dawn have been on some journey together, particularly with this choir, and I just want to thank him so much. There have been times when he has accompanied concerts at the last minute when I've thrown stuff at him and forgotten to thank him, forgotten to acknowledge that he has even been there. So I just want I just want particularly to thank all and for being the inspiration behind the concert. I mean, how could you not start a choir hearing my beautiful soprano voice? Um, yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't want to say much, really. I mean, I think it all speaks for itself. But I mean, I don't know, I think a lot of, a lot of us have come through. I actually was in a comparatively short time. I was only for, I think, three years 
before this happens. Um, two, three, two, two. Um, the last day was funny actually, we were doing an exercise, a warm-up exercise, and it was a scale and each person had to sing one note. So it was all beautiful, like, you know, children's notes, it was la 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 la, and then it was the last, that was me, and it was, so it's, you know, the way we fuss all that deep, <laughs> that was my last day. Uh, <laughs> no, I think you actually kind of wanted to keep me in somehow, wanted to make it work. Um, yeah, no, really, I just wanted to uh, thank Mam for, you know, 20 years of immense work, and what has grown into, like, an empire, basically. Um, <laughs> But I mean, so many of us have come through Pentax and really, really fostered a lot of choral singing. Um, a number of us from Pentax have gone to uh, courses of music and done music degrees and stuff and kept singing in choirs. And I certainly wouldn't have had the exposure if it wasn't for man. Um, and even just, oh, I'm getting emotional. This is happening. Um, yeah, no, but you know, it's, it's, such a, it's such a way of bringing people together. I was just looking up there, and not only is it like friends and stuff, but you know, siblings, cousins, aunts. Uh, people who might as well be cousins and aunts, um, especially after the last 20 plus years. Um, so yeah, no, really, I just, and she's not a woman who ever particularly takes credit for anything. We'll often forget to, she talks about forgetting to thank me, she doesn't thank herself. So um, on behalf of everyone, I know everyone wants to say something too. Um, but I just, you know, as we saw and everything, she, it's meant the massive amount of what she's done. Um, so, big round of applause for her. <laughs> You probably do realize, but how much Kandet has meant to all of us for I think most of us it was our first choir. And I know I want to be in choir for the rest of my life now, and I think a lot of us feel the same. Like there's nothing quite like choral singing, and that's thanks to you. So <laughs> uh, thank you so like from the bottom of all our hearts. I think um, it's it's been really important to a lot of us, and we just have a tiny presentation to make. Okay, we can we can keep doing this, but yeah, thanks for coming. Thank you. Thanks for coming along. <laughs>